Windows 10 has a bunch of tools to help you separate different parts of your life, like the ability to use multiple virtual desktops. If you use the same computer for everything and want to keep parts of your life on separate desktops, here's what you need to know. Before we begin, ensure you've got enough RAM and processing power to keep everything running. Remember, you're still running the same hardware. If you feel that your system is starting to get bogged down, you may want to close a few programs. That being said, adding another desktop to what you already have is fairly simple. On your taskbar, click on the task view icon on the right of the start button, or hold down your Windows key and tap tab to open the task view. Once task view opens up, click on new desktop at the top left to create another fresh virtual desktop. If you'd like to use a keyboard shortcut to do this, hold down your control and Windows key, then tap D to instantly create one. All of your previously open windows and programs will be left in your other desktop, right as you've left them once you switch back. In Task View, you'll be able to view all the open apps and windows on a given desktop by mousing over it at the top. From here, you'll be able to create as many as your machine can handle, switch back and forth between them, and close the ones you don't need. To instantly switch between virtual desktops you've created, hold down your Windows and Control keys, and then tap either the left or right arrow to navigate between them. Desktop 1 is always your leftmost desktop. To close a desktop, mouse over the one you want to close in Task View and click on the X icon above it. To close the one you're currently viewing, hold down your Windows and Controls key, then tap F4. Do note that upon closing a virtual desktop, anything running will not be closed and will be transferred to the next available desktop. Audio from one desktop will likely continue to play, even if the virtual desktop it's on isn't currently loaded in. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows 10 and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.